What exactly are we talking about? Why are we here today? Well, this is the official launch of a new program from our club called Invest in Me. And it's basically the idea that we want to teach our children about how to make smarter decisions about money. These are things that are not taught in the schools, and it's not just Aruba, it's global. This is not something you find in Holland or the US or anywhere else, right? They're slowly starting to put it into the curriculum, but it's coming much slower. And we know that kids have access to so much more information today with the advent of the phone, that we want to make sure that they have at least a solid foundation of you know, financial information, literacy, like needs versus wants, important, especially as a child, right? Growing up, all the things you want versus what is needed. What is an asset versus a liability? What is savings and what is a budget? Why are these things important? And we want to make sure we teach that at a good age. I am proud to say that of the 37 primary schools here in Aruba, we actually have 20 of them registered for our first year. For that alone, I'm already very excited. Yeah. Very excited. So how did this come to be? Well, <clears throat> take a step back and tell you a little bit about uh, the presidency uh, for Kiwanis Palm Beach. We actually make a four-year commitment when we decide to do this. So I made the decision two and a half years ago to be president this particular year. So I had two years to ramp up. And one of the goals I had was what could I do differently that would be highly impactful for the kids? Because as you might know, Kiwanis is international and we have over 8,300 clubs worldwide. Our goal is our communities and our children. The impact that we can make and the different programs we have, either from Kiwanis International or what we can do at a local level, I wanted to have something that was different and new that wasn't out there yet. So two years ago, I started talking to people about, what do you think of this idea? And I got a lot of good positive feedback from people I spoke to, and then it started to snowball. And then someone would say at lunch, oh, you should talk to this person. And that person would say, you should talk to this person. And it grew. 18 months ago, I had my very first, let's call it a committee meeting. I had 29 people from the island show up from all walks of life. So it wasn't just Kiwanis, but it was support from a multitude of different organizations, both corporate and service uh, and otherwise. So it was, a, it was a huge support. So I knew that we had something that people really felt that we needed to, to, to do here in Aruba. And we just really like to make dreams happen. If you work hard, your dream will come true. And this is a wonderful project because if I was younger, when I used to spend like crazy, this would have been a good project. Understand? So it is important for kids to come in at an early age and get business savvy, financially savvy, for them to know how to attack life. Sometimes people say, oh, I want to become a millionaire. Yes, when you become a millionaire with all this money, what are you going to do? Because within a few years, you can be very poor. We see many persons who win lottery, big sums of money. Within a few years, they don't have anything. What that I can say, Xander is very frugal. <laughs> so that's a good point for him. So what I would like to say, encourage our young people for them to get into this as early as possible for them to understand and make it a family thing a family affair so that they can understand the spending power of their parents not because they have a lot means you have to spend and go crazy what are we buying sometimes we look in our homes we have so many things in our home we don't even use them when we're ready to throw away everything you're giving away things that you invested money in but you never got around to using it so, as I would say, I encourage and I welcome the participation from Kiwanis to going out there in the community and helping our youngsters to grow responsibly. Thank you.